Ah, there we go. Okay. All right. Uh, so I have a screen that did reverse for reasons that I cannot fix. Okay. So I'm seeing an inverted screen. I'm not sure if you are. Um, it reads correctly to me. Okay, great. So it's only me. That's excellent. No way to be away from this now. Uh, so by moving things the wrong way. Okay, so this is very similar to your setup, but it might help um, understand it a bit. So I'm going to pan the camera around to show you the complete mess that is my work area. Um, but we'll also show you um, what it is. And it's actually just a scale of version. It's actually what goes in local. Um, so, okay, one second here. Sorry, I've got a test going on in the background. So I'll try and move that, unplug that, move this around. Okay, so basically what we have are simply <laughs> Sean's wiring. Um, but what we have is something similar. We've got, this is what we're calling, I guess, the reference cell. There's a bank for them because it's going into the tube and it's usually going left and right. So that's simply the screen is inverted. So in your case, it's one of these. In yep. the case of the Oko, there's four. Um, um, we're measuring across that to make sure that there's no leakage. Then we have, sorry, Frank, the primary. So this would be across your 03 and 04. And we have somewhere here uh, a bunch of controller chips. So that's just because they're, they're current limited. So there's just a few of them here. This is on test. This is not the way we actually wire things. <laughs> Um, when, I'm, when I'm not involved, there are people who actually know what they're doing in this organization somewhere. Uh, so, God knows who they are. Um, so, what the measurements are, the, let me just get up as close as I can. Frank, I don't know if you can see Yeah, that. fine. So, this, this is running for a couple of days now. So, the, I'm going to kind of point with my thumb. The pink one, which is reading 5.18, 5.19 volts, um, is the reference cell. So this is the one that's providing simply an electric field to the primary cell. Um, and that's remained at 5. The yellow is the voltage of the active cells, the bank of cells, They're all in parallel, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, and that's reading 4.5 4 and the cyan I guess bluish mm -hmm. color is is the output um, and this is one of the things because the primary cell is not at its full voltage it's at 4.54 4. um, what you're seeing here is this pulse behavior yep. so what's happening here is it, it's reaching a voltage where the um, chip which routes the output to 5 volts, um, so it's recovering enough to, to reach a point of dumping some energy, recovering again, dumping some energy, recovering again, and dumping some energy. Now, if you had a scope, you would be able to see this on yours, but that's why I'm suggesting that for the moment, all that we simply do is leave it. Now, if I left, if I turned it off, took the output off, what would happen to me? The blue and the yellow would rise up to the pulse in, I don't know, a few hours, and then there would be a constant output which we measured you know, yesterday for an hour or um, and then effectively it would end with this pulse mode. But pulse mode it would pretty much stay forever. Um, so again, this is a very similar setup. The one difference being that we don't have anything supporting the uh, reference cell because when there's four cells together in parallel, then the leakage is really kind of irrelevant. What has happened with your cell is obviously when you left here at 85 foot, whatever, 1819, whatever these things tend to hang around, and I think it was four odd when you're there. So what I would like to do is just stabilize that. Now, what will happen is that as you draw power, you draw like a continuous power, obviously the, the field primary cell is trying to push back the field of the secondary cell, so you will see the voltage shift, but the energy stays within it. Um, so what I think is probably happening in yours is that at 
some time to put pushing energy back out through the bit. And that's why I just think if you get right out across it, it ends that. But it's very much the same setup Francis Hugh have. Okay. That makes any sense whatsoever. Okay. Um, the one difference being that, that with just a single cell reference cell, uh, which again, I'll probably put the point back here, uh, keep the left and right out of the way, and still try to figure out. Right. Um, so any leaks there are not really uh, going to uh, you know, really go through. So your your system is pretty much identical. You've got on the output you've got five volt chip. Um, what's powering the five volt chip is 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 the cell, and then you have the reference cell that is not directly electrically connected, um, but is basically uh, putting a field around it. Um, so um, and what's happening with yours is we're just um, Leaking some energy from the reference cell, which I'm pretty sure is just being pushed out of the resistor. So you're saying that. Uh, in... So what if I tell what I've done right now, Sean, is I've I've actually disconnected the resistor. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Will that will that do anything to? No, it's not, it's not a bad thing. As you can see, we don't have any batteries connected to this system at all. Um, I mean, I'm not sure what your voltage is at the moment, but. Uh, last it's about 3.86 or something last time I looked. Yeah, but my only concern is that, it, like, it will recover itself, but my only concern is that it's not providing enough of a field for yeah. the primary. What, um, what, what is that? So just, sorry. What's the level? The, what's the level below which it cannot operate? Like high volts is what, is, is what we work on. So if you look at the screen client yeah. here, Okay. So what what it just I know, I know everything that we're saying and that and the slides we're trying to do is to keep the reference voltage that the reference cell was going to start, um, because there's only one of them. But I think the diode is going to stop any further leakage. Uh, back to ninety nine percent. If you want to, um, if you want to uh, just wait for the diode to source one or take one off the back of your TV or whatever. <laughs> All right. So if um, so you you say that if it will, it will build itself back up again eventually, if it if it if the leak is stopped. It, it, it will, but it, 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 it's it's at a level where it, it's very deep. So I'm not sure uh, what is happening with the secondary, but I wouldn't expect it to leak any further. Okay. Um, but you, you know, like we we don't you know we keep these things. To, to, to the max. Um, okay. In fact, we're testing at the moment with, with eight and nine volt versions of them. Um, and, the, and the reason for that is that that is actually providing a field that is stabilizing the, or is controlling the cell charging of the primary, of the primary cell. What would happen if I, what would happen if I increased the voltage, uh, like put two batteries on, would that help any? I know that we're like getting all this stuff out. Yeah, I mean, I just think it would be it would be nice just to if you to follow our test for the first bit. Yeah. Um, because my concern is that um, is 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 that we, you know I mean you know I think we're all over something that might we just charge it up and it kind of begins to make a fallacy of the whole thing. Right. Pumping in right. new tools. I mean, I, I think at the end of the day, if we get the diode. I'm pretty happy. That the system will kind of recover itself, but then you get this thing where an hour a day, or a couple of hours a day, or X number of hours a day, you can run at or 100 milliwatts um, for a couple of hours a day, probably even more. And once you keep doing that, you kind of begin to go, okay, well, that's what it's meant to do. Yeah, okay. All right. So I'll get a diode. There's a lot of asking questions here, but I have no idea how to you know, <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off um, I'm gonna turn off the video right now, Sean. I'm gonna I'm gonna and then we well, can. Hang on, uh, Rob is there. Well, I just have him. Let me just. Let me see. Uh, Rob, can I 